do it. Hey, President Obama pushing hard on health care reform. Mr. Obama says he wants a bill on his desk by August, and he wants that bill to contain an option to buy insurance from the U.S. government. Our next guest says that's a bad idea. Utah Senator Orrin Hatch on the Senate Health Committee. And Senator, good morning to you. How are you on Capitol Hill? Well, it's ni nice to see you. I, I, I've got a couple pointed questions to, I want to get to. Then I want to get to your rationale and the message you have for the White House today. As it stands today, does this health care bill pass? Uh, I don't think so, but you never know. I mean, uh, it's, it's a one-size-fits-all government-mandated health care plan that will uh, set up a government-sponsored plan, or what we call a public plan, that will cause about 120 million people to get off of uh, private health insurance and get into government. And, of course, they claim that they'll pay the difference uh, with the states between whatever they're paying for Medicaid now and Medicare now to 150 percent of the poverty level. Well, that sounds good, but within a few years, they'll be dumping that all on the states who cannot handle it. Well, and, you, you, and you, you raise an interesting what, premise there. What is it that concerns you about the plan? Is it the cost or is it the lack of options or is it both? Well, it's both, but uh, not only that, but, you know, if you, if you go to a public plan like this, it basically means that the government is going to interject itself between you and your doctor. And they're going to be telling your doctor what kind of health care they can give you. And that's what's wrong with, with going out of a really competitive system like we have today. Now, there's lots of room for improvement in this current system, but boy, if we go to a government plan, the government will be setting prices, they'll be uh, telling people what they can do, they'll be injecting themselves between your doctor and yourself. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you what a lousy, rotten thing it'll be, and it'll be tremendously costly. So I just don't understand what's happening with the president. Look, so, we're going to have saying, yeah, yeah, some are saying it, it, it could run as high as a trillion dollars, and then the question oh, becomes, oh, how do you pay that. for that? And uh, let, let me just get this out. The White House is stressing the following. Uh, better and more technology, prevention and healthy living, and then reimbursement to doctors and hospitals for quality care. Now, on paper, that sounds all good. What's your problem with well, it? We're, well, we're all suggesting that. But look, the only way you're going to solve health care is to work with both parties. This is not a Democrat issue. It's not a Republican issue. It's a national important issue. And if you don't work together to get this done, and we have a lot of people, including myself, who have a reputation for working uh, together with Democrats to try and come up with something that really does work in the best interest of our people and the states and the federal government. If you don't do that, we're going to wind up with a government mandated uh, one size fits all health care system that basically is going to cost an arm and a leg and ultimately it'll be dumped on the states that cannot afford it. Yeah, I mentioned a trillion dollars. You, uh, I heard you in my earpiece say oh. it's going to be much more than that. How much more than well, that? It's going to be one point. It'll be 1.5 to 1.8 trillion dollars. I don't care what they say. It's always a lot more than what they estimate. But that's even that even includes the estimates, the current estimates. Look, when government gets in, it sounds good. It sounds like a solution. But you can always count on all the inefficiencies of government. You can always count on the bureaucrats eating us alive. You can always count on interjection of government in ways that it shouldn't be interjected. Like I say, I don't want people. I don't want the government between the patient and the doctor. The doctor and the patient have got to decide what's best for them, regardless of what the government says. And we can do that if we work in a bipartisan fashion. And I believe, uh, you know, they may have the votes to put something like this, a dog like this through, but we'll pay a horrendous price in the future because it just, it just will not work. Well, here's what I'm trying to figure out, the practical application of this plan. Uh, Dick Morris has a column out this morning. He, uh, he says in his article that MRIs and CAT scans will be cut, antibiotics are reduced, fewer C-sections. Uh, he, he says the decisions are based on finances and, and not on medicine. Now, is that your understanding? Is, is that the practical well, application for Americans who would be subjected to such a system? How could it be anything but? If you have a government-sponsored plan in competition with the private sector, it is not long till the government sets, sets policies, sets prices, and in the end it won't be as efficient, won't be as bad as it may be in the insurance industry. Uh, it's, it's head and shoulders above having the government run this because sooner or later the government will be telling you what you can do, what you can't do. They'll be interjecting themselves between you and your doctor. Your doctor won't, uh, th th there'll be no real great incentives to 
uh, to enter into the medical profession, and uh, we won't have doctors that are killing themselves to try and help people well, like we you, have today. But, but you're saying that Democrats have the votes. There are many Democrats talking the way you are? Oh, yeah. No, no. Democrats know that if they go to a, a totally partisan approach, like the president is a, 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 suggesting, and they pass something like that, they're going to eat that the rest of their lives. And they, there are a lot of Democrats very upset who don't want the public plan also. But naturally, they want to support their president. I want to support the president yeah. if we can. But it's going to take a bipartisan effort of really good people who have a reputation for helping on health care. And certainly, I have that reputation. I'd be glad to help them, but not with a public plan, because that just uh, that basically will do exactly what you're talking we about. We talked with a leading Democrat on this issue last week. We brought you on to talk about it from the Republican side this week. And uh, thank you, sir. Orrin Hatch is on the Hill for us today. Watch that story throughout the week. And as if the president gets his wish, closer on August. Locked up in North Korea.